Well guys, guess what? We're out here taking off the rear end of the full screen machine to take the brake off. See, I got it all hacked apart and unfortunately, I, I had to do it that way because I just couldn't take the brake off. So, I'm gonna take the whole rear end off, but while I was trying to get the air bubbles out, uh, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't, it, I'd sit there and pump, 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 pump and it would never get solid, you know, where I could release the valve and then bleed it, you know. Well, that, well, that wasn't working. So then I decided to hack the whole thing apart and come to find out that one of the chambers, see this uh, port right here comes from, uh, that hole right there, and that hole right there goes over to where I had this connected, okay? But once I pulled these two halves apart, I noticed that's the seal. That seal is supposed to look like this seal here, but it was all squished up in between these two points. This side was in, but the other side was squished all in there. And I don't even think any oil, I think it was squished all over into the hole here because I don't even think any of the brake fluid was getting through this hole because if I look at this hole over here, which is the inlet of it, that's got rust and gunk in it, which means that hole wasn't even being used. And this, that means only one side of this brake was working decently. The other side probably would start working once I push the hell out of the pedal. But now, I might be able to fix this if I can just find another seal like that. And the only idea where I might be able to find one is, let's see here. Yeah, there we go. Is an old propane canister so uh, let's take out that thing right there or maybe I'll take the lid off and see if that one will come out even easier all right now I need to get the tool you know one of these things yeah of course I better make sure that this thing's completely empty Yep. Oh, uh, well, I can't get... That's not going to come out. Oh, you got to be... Sh come on. Oh, uh, dang it. I don't have the long tool either to get that thing out. Well, that sucks. I can't get that out. See, inside those uh, canisters, there is a, if you can pull the, uh, and it's the same thing that goes in a bike tire. It's that little nozzle control, that little valve. If you can pull that out, there's a, a neoprene ring that goes around that thing. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if it would work, on here, but you know, I could at least stick it in there and I don't know. Dang. See, now this is the kind of stuff that I absolutely hate. One stupid little thing like that is stopping that whole monstrous of a machine from going around. And I'm not about to hack up another machine just so that way I can stick the brake on that. And I'm pretty sure you just can't buy just that seal either. Heck, I don't even know what it would be called. I could pull, I could probably pull this one off of Cody's machine, but oh, I'm going to regret that. I just know it. All right, well, maybe that right there will be the thumbnail. Now, I'm not too sure what was going on. I don't know why this brake just started doing that because uh, I never had a problem with it before, but when I took it out on the, uh, you know, off-roading it that one time, it just, I hit the brake and there's no, it felt like there was uh, an air bubble in the dang brake. Or like I was losing fu losing brake fluid or something. But all I know is that I kept trying to pump it and bleed that dang brake and it was not working. Well, dang it. Now it looks like that damn thing is going to be sitting there until fucking whenever. 
I have a feeling I'm going to have to buy an entirely whole new brake caliper. God dang it. But the problem is, every single brake caliper I get is different than the last one I bought. See, this one here is for the Wastelander. And it has mounting points right here, which is completely wrong with what I set up on the full screen machine. See, to put this on the full screen machine, I'd have to go that way, which would mean that these mounts would have to, I'd have to figure out how to put that on there where it's not gonna collide with the disc. See, most of the brakes that I buy all were, were, were all pretty uniform. So if I built a mount, I could build two or three mounts and it would work on that, on whatever brake I put on because they're all the same. But that one right there is a different one. And when I looked at the picture, to buy that one, it uh, it showed that one that I have all taken apart. I mean, I can work with it when it comes down to the Wastelander, but I can't put that brake caliper on the full screen machine. All right, guys, but I'm gonna jump on out of here. Tell me what I should do. Should I just, oh, should I scrap out Cody's go-kart? But that brake hasn't worked in a while, so I'll have to take care of that thing all apart and clean that all up. Should I buy a new caliper and take the chance of ordering the one that's actually in the picture and hoping that they send the one that's in the picture? Yeah, so I'd like to say hello to all my new subscribers and my new viewers, guys. Man, this is like really frustrating. One stupid little seal. But anyways, guys, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.